Hi, this is Robert Katz of the Innovation Nation Institute here on the Startup Maryland bus. Come have a seat with me as we start and rev up the innovation engine here on the bus and throughout Maryland. We need to work together throughout Maryland to maintain our innovation edge that we enjoy throughout the world. Let's talk about innovation edge for a second. First, a quiz. Some companies you may have heard of. Kodak, Polaroid, E.F. Hutton, Wayne, Palm, Woolworths, of course Pan Am, Kenner, one of my favorite, Bell & Howe, Digital, Borders, Tower Records, Zenith, the inventor of the TV, and of course, most recently, Radio Shack. What do all these companies have in common? You're correct, none of them exist anymore. Why? Because they weren't innovative. But what also do they have in common? They all were innovation leaders. That's how they came into existence. But now, all of these companies are no more. They're all gone because they couldn't innovate. They couldn't maintain the acceleration needed to be innovative in this world today. So let's see what we're going to do about that. First of all, let's talk about what innovation is. Innovation is not STEM. True, some STEM can be innovative, but some of it is more evolutionary and not necessarily revolutionary. And what about the 80 to 90 percent of the companies and people that aren't studying or involved in STEM? Can they be innovative? Of course they can. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how we can keep the wheels of innovation turning on this bus and throughout Maryland for everybody, all companies, all businesses, in their daily lives. Let's examine the problem. Globalization and automation are putting incredible downward pressure on businesses, reducing their competitiveness, their ability to differentiate, their ability to generate ideas, develop products, increase their revenues, increase their growth, and ultimately their ability to be involved and reinvest in their community or their state, all being diminished. But wait, there's more. Who else needs to be innovative and who else is having that same pressure? Aha, you're right, schools and students. So just like businesses, globalization and automation are putting downward pressure on students and schools, reducing their ability to problem solve, to think critically to have analytical skills, to increase their aspirations and their self-esteem, to expand employment opportunities, and ultimately, similar to businesses, decrease their ability to be involved and be stakeholders in their community. What we're going to do about that is we're going to take some of the best practices and in innovation as developed in the intelligence communities and in other major corporations, and we're going to infuse those innovation frameworks in everyday businesses throughout Maryland and in schools. We're simply going to try to move up the Bloom's taxonomy. We're going to explain how, instead of just remembering and regurgitating, we can start to be applying, analyzing, creating, and ultimately innovating. So a couple of basic frameworks that the Innovation Nation Institute is going to teach and spread and infuse throughout Maryland simply asking some of the basic W questions. Whenever you're presented with a problem, look at all the parameters that surround that problem. The who, the what, the where, the why, the how, and most importantly, the wow. How can we look at solving problems by looking at it multidimensionally and interdisciplinarily? Right now, most of academia and most of businesses over-specialize and over-focus. We create silos that really shouldn't be there because problems are naturally interdisciplinary, not siloed. So we need to solve the problems in a similar fashion. What that means is we need to start looking and using both sides of our brains. We need to look at both the right side and the left side. We need to look at rational, logical, linear ideas at the same time looking at imaginative, intuitive, creative, and even whimsical ideas and how those can be integrated together. I've taken these and all merged them together to create the Innovation Nation framework. This framework is a roadmap that allows 
any company, corporation, organization, or academic institution to infuse innovation back into their processes or their curriculum. It starts out with instigation. What's the problem that needs to be solved? Imagination, thinking about where you would be if that problem was solved. Inspiration, talking to people, crowdsourcing, gathering ideas on how we solve that problem. Doing investigation to find out what all the data points are that you need to connect. Information, bringing it, that information, digging deeper below the surface. And then evaluating and ideation which of those best ideas through the strategic analytical frameworks that we talked about best can solve that problem. Implementation. We take one or two of the best solutions and isolation. Isolate them into a closed environment where we test that process, that product, that procedure, and see how well it's going to solve our problem. Incubation. Then we let it grow and grow and grow and we get feedback and crowdsource. Not just people within our company, but people outside our company. We want to gather a variety of ideas. Then integration, where we integrate it with the greater uh, processes. Iteration, we keep going over this a few times until we ultimately have innovation. So how are we going to deliver this new innovation framework and how are we going to have a one-to-many implementation for the Innovation Nation framework? Well, we're going to use a number of different engagement techniques, people, processes, and platforms through a variety of lectures, presentations, seminars, online tutorials, online learning environments, and most importantly, gamification, where you can compete with your friends, families, and foes within your small group, club, organization, division, company, county, and state on being able to answer questions that require implementation of the innovation framework, that require moving up on Bloom's tech taxonomy, and require thinking outside the box, thinking outside the bubble. And you'll be graded and get instant gratification on how quickly you answer that question. And then you can see where you tally up with respect to all of your friends. So some of the specifics are, we're going to implement this through a variety of businesses throughout Maryland, um, where we have best of breed processes, best practices, to deliver these design thinking and structural analytical techniques. These are going to be delivered simultaneously to businesses and to a school that that business adopts. That's, that business will be funding through its, um, funding, through its fees the implementation at the school. And then through an online platform, there will be accountability buddies to provide mentoring and um, be able to provide crowd sharing and crowdsourcing on their ideas. Meanwhile, the, business, the businesses become a, uh, a mentor for the school and the students at the school become potential talent pipeline for the business. So, are there competitors doing this? Well, of course there are. Some of the best companies in Maryland and in the country, in the world, in fact, are delivering various types of their own proprietary innovation framers, but these are not accessible to most, nearly 99% of the companies throughout Maryland because of the high cost and the one-to-one -one type of engagement paradigm that they follow. These are not multi-tiered. They are not designed for academic environments. They are really not at all affordable, and they aren't, therefore, internally self-sustaining because they teach an external process instead of teaching you how to integrate an innovation framework into your existing processes. And then similarly, we have some existing programs focused on schools, but these are nearly always focused on STEM and not upon the rest of the 80 to 90 percent of the students that are not involved in STEM. We want all of the people to be able to think outside the box, to be able to always ask questions, to be able to always question and expand their horizons. And as you see, these programs are mutually exclusive because none of them cover both at the same time and allow for any type of collaboration. I am truly honored and proud to have this engine of innovation keep on rolling through an incredible dream team, nearly all of which, as I have been, are lifelong residents of the wonderful state of Maryland. I have instructors from the University of Maryland. I have world-renowned engagement specialists. I have 
two former CIOs that were born and bred here in Maryland and world-renowned technology and financial experts as part of my team. So, come in the bus, sit down beside me, and join me while we don't just turbocharge the engines of innovation throughout Maryland, we get them rolling at ludicrous speeds. Thank you.